<clears throat> Hello, today I'm going to show you how to remove um, a sandwich thickness on the deck and the bottom using uh, 3D layers. So let's start with a, a windsurf file, for example. So I'm going to add a 3D layer of that type constant depth. Um, let's say about uh, five millimeter on the deck. Let's call it uh, deck, deck sandwich. Press OK. So by default, it will add a shape like this on each side on the deck. If you do the tracing, you see that you will have a squared hole, a squared depth. And if you look at the 3D view, you can see it like that. So now, what if I want to apply this sandwich on the whole deck? So let's enlarge the outline of this 3D layer like this, so that it has the same length as the board and <coughs> uh, always larger than the board's outline. And then the inner outline, I will put it right on the center axis. So now you can see it's on the wall deck and stops at the apex of the slices. Like this. <clears throat> now we have uh, other options for this constant depth 3D layer here. If I look at the properties, I can check the option extend rail. Okay. And now if I look at the slice, I see that this the sandwich thickness is removed all over the rail until the deck. And there is another new option called Smooth Edges, which will um, extend the 3D layer um, so that you don't have a square edge. And that's very useful if you want to apply the sandwich um, all over the rail and that then cut it flat. Uh, not that we could also use that this option to put the sandwich only on the deck like this. <clears throat> so you see the three D layer is extended over the outline the um, <coughs> over the outline um, using a, a straight extension <coughs> okay um now let's go back to the case where we want the sandwich all over the deck and if now we want to add sandwich all over the bottom so now let's add another uh, 3d layer of type constant depth let's call it sandwich and apply it on the bottom we can set it from x equals equals zero to the length of the board from the beginning. And let's say the bottom sandwich is three millimeters. Press apply. So to put it all over the bottom, you take the inner outline and put it on the along the center axis and then the outer 
outline, I just set it larger than the board. And so <clears throat> by default, this bottom sandwich is applied over the bottom and the rail until the apex. So I can use the option limit rail. So now it's only applied on the bottom until the rail point. But you see there is a squared edge. So I can use the option smooth edge. And now I have the three millimeter sandwich removed all over the bottom with no steps. And we can verify that in the 3D view. <clears throat> Another possibility we could have used is just remove the limit rail and smooth edges for the bottom sandwich 3D layer and the deck sandwich 3D layers. And now you'll see the limit between these two layers is right at the apex, but you see there is a step. And so this will only work if the two 3D layers have the same depth Let's put the deck sandwich to three millimeters. And then you see the two 3D layers will connect smoothly. OK. Now, if you use these 3D layers to add the sandwich, to, to remove the sandwich thickness, then this will apply in the CNC mode. And this will also apply if you need to export the wall board um, as a surface meshes or a surface nerves, which is not the case if you use the sandwich thickness defined here in the size and parameters window, because in this case, it only applies in the CNC mode not for the export. This is what you see here, sandwich deck and bottom. OK, so I think we are good now. So thanks for listening and see you next time.